What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is a reminder. I've said this in the last few days and I want to keep reminding you because the event for Samsung Unpacked is coming up this coming week and August 11th is literally days away at this point. So if you want to reserve the phone and get, as you can see here, you'll end up getting $100 in extra trading credit. You'll get your first 12 months of Samsung Care Plus included with the phone, which is $155 value and an extra special offer towards Galaxy products during pre-order. Then click the link down below in the description, fill out the form and you will be in the pot mixing pot of all of us other reservations so that when the phone does come out you're kind of locked in and you can pre-order it it doesn't financially get you stuck into anything so if you're worried about that and don't it's really everything good if you decide to get it great if you don't no nothing lost you know it takes two seconds to fill out the form so link down below if you plan on it or you're kind of on the edge at least do it i mean it's smart to just you know reserve it next up are the pre-order gifts that will be given for the galaxy z fold 3 in Europe and uh, not that big of a surprise, but also not, for me anyway, not that exciting. So here it is. And this comes from Snoopy and we'll just jump down to his second line because we've gone through the complete spec sheets before. Trade-in promo for Europe will be buy the Z Fold 3 and you get a cover, AKA a case with the S Pen and a 25 watt adapter, AKA a 25 watt charger. So basically if you pre-order in Europe, Galaxy Z Fold 3, obviously you'll get that phone, but you'll also get a case with an S Pen. That case will hold the S Pen. And then you also get a 25 watt charger. That 25 watt charger hasn't been included in the box the last few phones that uh, Samsung's put out. So this is a way of them giving it to you. I don't know, not that exciting. I'd much, much rather see the Galaxy Buds 2 included uh, with the pre-order gifts, but I think in America and I think other places you will probably be able to get the Galaxy Buds too, but at least in Europe or parts of Europe, this is gonna be the pre-order gifts that you will get. And speaking of the full spec sheet that came out, there's a little bit of a disappointing news that has come out and seemingly has, is wrong in the, in the original spec sheet that we spoke about. And uh, it, it's not the end of the world, I'll say that much. And it's also not probably that big a deal. I doubt most of you even use this feature. I would guess 90% or more don't even use it, maybe even higher. So with that said, let's get into this. Here's the tweet from Roland Quand. It says the Fold 3 charges at 25 watts. We know that, you know, that's what we've been dealing with. 25 watts is not fast compared to a lot of the other phones such as OnePlus and Xiaomi and other manufacturers on the, on the board, but it's par for the course for Samsung and has max video recording resolution of 4K. That's right, it's only gonna be able to max record video at 4K, there was a spec sheet that showed 8K, it's only gonna be 4K max resolution, but you'll be able to play videos back at 8K resolution, but no 8K recording. So that was the disappointing part. We heard that it was gonna be 8K video recording. That's not true. So 4K will be the max, which is honestly completely fine with me. I mean, I've done 8K video tests on these phones before, but I don't set my phone to that just because of how much storage it ends up using. And it makes sense anyway, because the resolution of the camera has to be, I think someone wrote in the comments, cause I don't know by heart, 33 megapixels. And obviously this phone is set to 12 megapixels on the back there. So 4K max video playback and then uh, or video recording, I should say, and then 8K videos can be played on the phone if that's any kind of a consolation prize. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question now to you guys is, which resolution do you record your videos at on your phone? Because that by default, Samsung sets it to 1080p. Most everybody, Apple included, sets their resolutions when to record videos at 1080p. You have to physically go in there to change it to anything else. 4K, 8K, let me know what you do it at. I, what's one of the first things I always do is I go in, I change the resolution to 4K. Um, let me know about you guys, what you set it at. Have a great day, we'll see you down the road. Peace.